Hi guys, today we're going to talk about subtraction with regrouping. So first we're going to remind our brains a little bit about what we have been doing before. So let's have a look at the first question. So it's 31 take away 17. So we know we have to start in the ones column. So one take away seven, we can't do. One is smaller than seven. So we get to borrow a group of 10. So if I borrow a group of 10, that means there's two left. If I bring that group of 10 over, as we know, one group of 10 is the same thing as 10 ones. So if I bring one group of 10 over, it becomes the 10 ones. I had, so I brought over 10 ones and I had one there. So now I have 11. So 11 take away seven, I know is four. 2 take away 1 is 1. So we have to remember that group of 10. We're always thinking, if we draw our little thinking bubble, we're always thinking about regrouping in groups of 10. We're always moving them in groups of 10. And so if we have a look at our tool, we can see, just as a reminder, 10 ones is the same as one group of 10, and 10 tens is the same as one group of 100. And we know that. We've practiced that a lot. So we want to keep our thinking of regrouping in groups of 10. So this is just where we had one regrouping. So let's go over to the next question. And if you want to pause the video here, you can go get a piece of paper and a pencil or a marker, whatever you've got. And then we could do this one together. That way you're getting a little practice as we're doing it. Okay, so I hope you've got a piece of paper and a pencil. So we go and we look, oh, we got a zero. So zero take away two, we know nothing. We have nothing, we can't give away two things. So we go over into our tens column. In our tens column, we have a three. Well, we can borrow from that. So let's cross that out. I had three, so I'm borrowing one group of 10 and I have two left. I bring my group of 10 over. Well, there was nothing there, so now I just have 10. 10 take away two is eight. Okay, so far so good. So now I go into my tens column and I have to read it. And it says two take away nine. Well, I can't do that. So I guess I can go to my hundreds column. Oh, and wait, I know that one group of 100 is the same as 10 tens. So if I borrow a group of 100, well, there was one there, so now there's zero. And I bring over the 10, that's my 10 tens. I had 10 and I had two. So now I'm at 12. 12 take away nine is three. And then zero take away zero is zero. And we know we don't have to write that. Now that one's kind of tricky because I had to regroup two times. But that's okay as long as I just do it each column at once and I remember that I'm always bringing over in groups of 10. Okay, let's try the next one. So we have 240 take away 163. So zero can't take away three. So let's go into our tens column again and we're gonna borrow a group of 10. That group of 10 becomes 10 ones. Now we have 10 take away three. We can do that and we have seven. So now we go into our tens column and it says three take away six. We can't do that, three is smaller than six. So we're going to have to regroup again. Let's borrow a hundred. So there's one left. We know that it turns into 10 tens. So if I have 10 tens that I bring over, plus the three that were already there, now I have 13. 13 take away six is seven. And then I get to go into my hundreds column. And one take away one is zero. So we don't need to write it. So hopefully this is reminding our brains a little bit. And I know the double regrouping is a little bit new, but it's following the same idea we talked about before and grouping with tens. This time, instead of just using one column, we use two. 
So grade twos, this one is especially for you. So make sure you're paying attention. Okay, I need my new marker. This is my marker holder now. Okay, this is going to be important for us grade twos because we are going to work with the number 100. So when we have 100, we already know we've got two zeros. This is probably going to be tricky. And let's just say we're going to take away 25. Now I know you can do this with mental math, but we're not doing it with mental math today. We're doing it with our regrouping. So let's have a look and see the steps. Always in the ones. Zero, take away five. Can't do it. So I need to borrow. <gasps> But there's a zero there and I can't borrow from zero. So this is the part where we really have to think about our groups of 10. So I'm gonna borrow from my hundreds. There was one there, now there's nothing. I have to bring my 10 tens, that makes 100, because we know that. I have to bring it right next door to the tens because that's what it is. A group of 100 is 10 tens. So I did that first step, but I still can't do zero take away five. So now I can though borrow from 10. So I'm going to cross out my 10 groups of 10 and now I have nine and I'm going to change one of them into 10 ones. Now that one is a little tricky, but now we can do our math. 10 take away five is five, nine take away two, is seven and zero take away nothing is still zero and we don't have to write it. Okay, we're gonna try one more with just the 100 to see if we can figure out that double regrouping when we have so many zeros. Okay, so let me get my black marker again. Let's try this. 100 and let's say we're going to take away 83. Okay, so we always start in the ones. Zero cannot take away three. So we're going to have to borrow, but there's nothing to borrow. So we have to go to our next column, which is our hundreds column. If we borrow, we take it away. So there's no groups there. We have to put it into the tens column because we know that uh, one group of a hundred that we're moving is the same as 10 tens. So as soon as we move that over, then we go, okay, whew, we're good now. But we look in our ones column. We still can't do it because we haven't borrowed anything yet. So let's cross off our 10. We had 10 groups. We're going to borrow one. Now we have nine and we brought those over. And now that one group of 10 becomes 10 ones. Now we can do our subtraction. So 10 take away three is seven. Nine take away eight is one and zero take away zero, zero, I don't have to worry about it. So I know that this looks a little tricky, but if we do it in the steps and we go slow, we're going to be able to do it. Now, quick change, let's think money. If I said to you that you had 100 cents and you bought a stuffed bunny, since it is Easter, and that stuffed bunny cost you 58 cents. Well, the only difference between regrouping here and regrouping with money is that now we've added in the cent sign. That's the only difference. We follow the same strategies. So I would go again and look, I can't subtract zero, take away eight. Okay. I go to the tens column, still can't do it. So then I go ahead and I borrow from my group of 100. I bring it over in groups of 10, always to the next column. Now I've got 10 take away five, but I still can't do my ones column. So I borrow a group of 10, I bring it over. Now I can do my ones, because we always have to do ones first. 10 take away eight is two, nine take away five is four, Zero take away zero, oops, is zero. But I can't forget to do my cent sign because that's the important part when we're doing money. So now, grade twos, 
when you are going to be doing your um, exit ticket from this lesson, I want you to be able to pay attention if you're showing your regrouping across going from your hundreds to your tens and then borrowing from your tens and bringing it to your ones. And then of course, if there's a sense sign, make sure you're including your sense sign. That's what I'm going to be looking for. So even if you have to write the question out on a piece of paper and you take a picture of it and send it to me, that's fine, but that's what I'm looking for. Are you showing me your regrouping thinking in groups of 10? So that's what I'm looking for. And if you have a question, you can add your question into the personal comments at the side, private comments, um, or um, your, get your parents to send me an email. But give it a shot. I know you guys can do this. Now, grade twos, if you want to keep listening, you can. Grade threes, we're going to take it one step farther. Our one step farther is we are going to still be paying attention, my dears, to the columns. But when we're working with money, we are going a little bit higher than 100 cents. Now, if we go to, let's say, $5, the strategy stays the exact same. Let's say we bought, ooh, a chocolate. Let's say we bought a chocolate for $3.25. Now I can't forget my dollar signs. Okay, it doesn't matter if it's a one in the hundreds column or a five, same strategy. So we know we can't do zero take away five. We can't borrow from a zero. So we have to borrow from our hundreds column. Let's get a new color for us. I'm gonna borrow a group of 100. There's five there, so there's four left. When I bring it over, I now have 10 in my tens column. I still need to borrow to get to my ones, so I borrow a group of 100, I have nine left, and I bring over that group of 10 and turn it to my 10 ones. So then I have 10 take away five is five, nine take away two is seven, four take away three is one. I must remember to put my decimal because that's what is the difference between our dollars and our cents and I must write my dollar sign. So it, it's the exact same, we just have to remember the decimal and the dollar sign. Now the one more thing, grade threes, I need to get my black is that sometimes we do with $10, we pay with a $10 bill. And it's the same strategies, as long as we follow them, we'll be okay. Okay, let's hope I have enough room here. So let's say we start off with $10. And I have to take away, I don't know, what do we say we buy today? Let's say that we buy um, a pack of gum and we buy a bag of chips and all together it comes to four dollars and ten cents so make sure we line up our columns properly so there's my cents here's my dollars okay now this has a little bit more regrouping but we can do it if we follow the groups of ten going right next door okay Oh, hey, look, zero can take away zero. Thank goodness, that makes it a little bit easier. Let's do that. Okay, then I have zero take away one. Mm, can't do it, zero smaller. So I have to go over to my, um, my dollars or my hundreds column. Nothing there, so I have to go to the one. I cross it out, I put a zero. Now, yes, if we didn't have our decimal there, that would be our ones, tens, hundreds, and then our thousands column, which we've talked about a little bit. And just like everything else, it's in groups of 10. So 10 hundreds is the same as a thousand. So when I borrow that, I'm bringing it over in a group of 10. Now that I have it in a group of 10, we know we can borrow from that. So I'm gonna borrow that group of 100. Now there's nine left, and I'm going to bring it over into um, my cents column or my tens column. Now I have 10 take away nine, one is nine, and I have nine take away four is five, and then I have zero take away zero. 
I cannot forget my decimal. Oh, there's a piece of tape there, so I'll do it over here. And my dollar sign. So that is how we do it when we're working with $10. Let's do one more with $10 where we have to do um, three regroupings. It's okay, we've got this. $10 and let's say that we buy something and it costs us $5.75. Okay, so let's go through all the steps. So we can't do zero take away five. We cannot borrow from zero. We cannot borrow from zero. That's okay. Now we're gonna think groups of 10. I'm gonna borrow it, there's zero left. I bring over the group of 10 one hundreds. Now I'm going to borrow from my one hundreds. I have nine left, I bring over a group of 10. But I still need to do my math here and I don't have anything. So I need to borrow again. I borrow from a group of 10, I have nine, I bring over my 10. Now I can do my math. So if we keep following this bring over in group of 10 strategy, we should be okay. So 10 take away five is five, nine take away seven is two, nine take away five is four, and then I have zero take away zero, so I'm okay. I don't forget my decimals, I don't forget my dollar signs. And that is how we do regrouping when we're using $5, ten dollars and a hundred cents so I have our chart down here that can be our tool to help and this can be a tool to help as well I've taken pictures of both of these and put them onto our Google classroom so you have the video plus you have the pictures so please use those as your tools while you're completing your exit ticket this is a lot harder without you guys giving me all of your thoughts and ideas. That is so much more fun when you do, but hopefully this still helps and you're gonna be able to do your exit ticket. I look forward to seeing it, guys. Bye.